Welcome back. Now it's time for the latest report from our intrepid reporter, Dallas Campbell. Actually, I don't know why I called him intrepid. He's not intrepid, is he? It's not like he's had a hard time since he's joined the show. He's had a whale of a time, actually. Think about it. He's been to California, Austria, Switzerland. He's been testing jet luges. He's built himself a world-beating slot car. And apparently, he's been invited round to John Bentley's for tea. Huh? Nice. Well, now he's been to Canada to do a bit of biking. All right for some, isn't it? This is the city of Waterloo. It's at the centre of Canada's technology triangle and last year was voted the world's most intelligent community. Here you'll find the headquarters of BlackBerry and R&D centres for many of the world's leading tech companies. It's also home to one of the strangest bike collections in the world. And it's that strange bike collection that I've come to see. These bikes are really off the scale, and they're the work of Brent Curry, an engineer who's taken the concept of the humble bicycle to a completely new level, and he agreed to let me have a go on some of his favourites. Hi, are you Brent? I am. Hi, Dallas Campbell, really Hi. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I've just been looking at this. Can I just say, that's my dream bike, <laughs> a bike where you can actually just sit down and relax. Well, thank you very much. Did you make this yourself? I did. If I was going to do the Tour de France, this is what I'd want to do it on. Oh, it's fantastic. It's so comfortable. And then, of course, you know, if you're with an attractive girl, you could do the old... <laughs> the, old the old reach around. You actually <laughs> kind of have to do that because the rear, the right-hand brake is on the, the right side of the bike. So, basically, Brent, you designed the brake in order to be able to put your arm around the girl. Pretty much. God, you're brilliant. This is the nicest bicycle I've ever been on. This is better than my rally chopper. This amazing piece of transport is called a couch bike, and Brent built this back in 2002 for a 500-kilometre trip across Canada. Where did the sofa come from? It belonged to an old university friend of mine. Wait, can I just check? This is a student sofa. It is. So there's probably, like, old pizza and... <laughs> just, oh, it's disgusting uh, <laughs> down there. Don't look down there. The frame is made from strong but lightweight alloy steel. It has two separate drivetrains, so each person can cycle at their own pace, and a massive 144 gear combinations per side. It's good. I have to say, it's actually really, really easy to pedal. It's nice. Yeah, I, it's... Can, I can get into this. Yeah, it's slow getting started, but once yeah. you get up to speed, it's nice and relaxing. I tell you what, DFS sofas, they've got a sale on at the moment. <laughs> you, could, you could go in, buy a whole load of cheap sofas, knock out a load of bikes, make an absolute killing. This one looks slightly less barking mad, although I'm not seeing any seat and I'm certainly not seeing any chain or pedals. How on earth do you ride it? The key to the hula bike is this rear wheel <coughs> with the eccentrically laced hub. Eccentric being the key word here, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning it's a little off-center. Eccentric's a kind of running theme with you, I'm, I'm, I'm sensing. If you push this bike along, it would just right. bounce up and down. Okay. But if you bounce with the right rhythm, sort of like a hula hoop, uh, per <laughs> right. Sort of like you're using a hula hoop. Yeah, baby. Then uh, you can propel it. OK, here it goes. Woo! Because the hub of the wheel is offset from the centre of the rim, it's essential that you bounce up and down on the hula bike with as much force as possible. Once you get a bit of a rhythm going, it's actually quite easy. It's a very, obviously, a very different technique to riding a normal bike because there's no pedals. You just have to get the timing right. Boing, boing. Next up, I drove another of Brent's bicycles built for two. It was originally a four-wheeled quadricycle, but Brent decided to make a pickup truck cover for it out of sheet metal and rivets. It's actually not bad. I mean, again, we're both pedaling, but we're pedaling at different speeds. Are we on separate gears? Yeah, we have two independent drivetrains, each right. with 36 speeds. My Rover 216 only has four gears. Ah. So. Oh, around the corners we go. It's great. It's actually really, really good fun. Once you get a bit of speed going, it actually handles surprisingly well. Woohoo! Come on! Brent's most innovative creation is this, a treadmill bike. Yes, a treadmill on a bike. Oh, my God, this is impossible. When you run on it, your leg power alone makes it move, and it's really tough. Break, 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 stop, 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 stop. I can't see. Oh, my God. You see, all your other bikes, lots of fun, great. This one is horrible and is torturous. I never, ever want to go on this again. What do you, 
What are you thinking? Well, this is meant as a bit of a social commentary on people who drive their cars to the gym only to run on a stationary treadmill. Yeah. It just doesn't make sense, I figured. So I figured I'd make a bike that doesn't make much sense. The treadmill mat is butted against the back tire. When you run on the bike, the friction is what drives the wheels. Oh, and did I mention, it's really, really tough. Brent builds most of his bikes as art projects, although the couch bike is available to hire for weddings and other special occasions. The only bike that is for sale is the treadmill bike, but he hasn't had any takers yet, and I can't say I'm surprised. Sofa bikes! I love sofa bikes. It's the way forward. It definitely is, because it's my two favourite things. Yeah. Cycling I like, lounging about on a sofa I love. Absolutely. Combined into and, one gadget. And for the three things I love, yeah. then you could have like a little drinks tray on the side, couldn't you? That'd be very nice. Loving bikes as you do, I've yeah. got a bike to show you. Does it involve me getting off this sofa in yes, any way? No. It does. does. And it involves your exercises. No. So come over here.